It's time for a daily dose of victory, even if it's just a minute with the pastor. Hi, I'm Pastor Tony Smith, the pastor of Victory Ministries International. This is another daily dose of victory. We're on the subject. Uh, can we work this out or, or should we leave this alone? I want to get straight into it. Today, I want to talk about helping people in their finances. Sometimes you, you're you being an enabler when you begin to invest, invest in people that won't get out of the hole because soon you bring them up, they dig themselves down by taking that that you help them with and not using and using wisdom to get stay out of where you get them out. They think they take, they say, well, since they paid my car note, since they helped me with my rent, then now I can go buy two outfits. No, you should save that money so they won't have to help you with your rent or your car note ever again. But you sign yourself repeating, repeating, repeating. You need to sit down and say, wait a minute, we're not working together and I am doing more work for you than you do for yourself. And because of that, I need to let this assignment or this part of your life go and let you choose whatever direction you choose to fall in or grow in. Just let it happen. Even though my vision seems like, see, um, the thing I see, it seems like you're going to get yourself in more trouble with your situation, your kids or whatever. But I'm going to have to and I'm going to have to stop what I'm doing and begin to allow you to see that you cannot keep living off of my help by showing you to help yourself. We are teaching them how, we are giving them fish instead of teaching them how to fish. And maybe in reality, people have never taught you how to teach people how to fish, so you keep fishing for them and then giving them what they need. Now, I want to encourage you by telling you this. It's nothing wrong with letting a person fall if you realize that they're falling will teach them never to fall again. Bye-bye. This is the year that the kingdom meets the king.